Hi, I'm Hideo Date, a jazz and blues guitarist in Berkeley, California. Today's lesson is blues guitar lesson number 15, and I'd like to show you my own song, um, Blues for Mr. Hopkins. It's the original song based on Lightning Hopkins guitar style. Okay, let's get started with the tuning I be, have been using for uh, a 432 hertz tuning, okay, from high E to low E string. So let's check with the E chord and open position. And let's check with the G chord as well. So this is the bass bone um, Lightning Hopkins style, but not exactly what he played. I have many uh, my own sound here and there. So let's start, start with the intro. Intro, um, I play this double stop and five and seven. shaking those two notes. He'll be playing with the E bass here. So you might be choosing this way. It's kind of double bass and E open and E fretted here, two way. And I went to this uh, another double stop, um, nine and seven. Um, the open position lick so can um I, you know this one a little too many notes to call out all the numbers but third fret and then fourth fret slide and then going down to this hammer and then um, when it played at the third fret those two st string um, B and E string bend up a little bit and also this um, same note, the G note on the E string, bend down. And I have my own lick here. One more time, slowly. slowly please play along and get those notes down going to the verse. The verse has a train sound, the train imitation 7 and 8 fret here. It's not a triplet um, arpeggio picking but long note and short note combination of both. Um, this is the correct bass. Um, going to the A chord and before you hit the A chord, uh, A chord we're going the bass move, which is um, bass walk up, um, throw one, two, and try to form the A chord, but um, hit the open bass after. And those single note, zero, three, zero. And going to that uh, uh, typical blues lick here. So you can do many different way. I will use my three fingers together and then include the open string 4-3-0 sometimes the arpeggio or that's more like him different arpeggio or sometimes break so you can choose one you like to play um, I um, use three fingers you can use with one finger Um, 
I will just add that another zero three zero E B string E string, and then I just bend up the third fret again. Every time you hit the third fret, uh, either E string or B string, we're gonna bend up. So that's the idea here. Um, let's go back to the blues lick. Walk up, which is one uh, zero one two on the D string, and quickly hit the, the right bass, which is A A bass. The second time, I choose to play this bass walk up, which is three to uh, three to four a uh, hammer, and hit the A note on the G string second fret, and hit the G note on the third fret E string. Page after another zero three zero lick here, and going back to my blues lick, or if you play like him, now here's a B lick starting from the second fret E note, and then. Like this, or you could play. You can just make an arrangement or a variation. So two, one, two, three, going up to the fourth fret, and then form this same blues lick. Going down to the second fret, and pull off, and hit the B note, B bass note, and try to form the B chord. And try to hit the B chord quickly, and then I hit the the E string bass third fret, bend it down. This one again. Let's try it on three uh, two zero. Then this um, um turn around for my own um. Lick, which is first slide the E note on the second string, then quickly going to the train sound and then come back and then and quickly having one zero with a hammer and try to form the B string. So let me play slowly so you can play along to figure it out those notes. So those are my own way of the kind of Lightning Hopkins style, not exactly what he played. So um, you could also make your own um, phrasing out of his own um, Lightning Hopkins style. So I hope this um, lesson really um, opens up your guitar playing, the blues guitar playing. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you again in blues guitar lesson number 16.